me Maddie and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Maddie and I post book related content every single Monday. So if this is something you enjoy, subscribe. Today we're doing my January wrap up. Yeah, it's already February. Like, what the heck? Am I the only one who feels like January like flew by? Because I feel like it, f it fl like it flew. Like it was just whew, like it was. It, I am I the only one who feels that way? Because oh my, like it's just passing and I just stop. Anyway, it's February. I read five books in the month of January. I was in a reading slump after I, fi I read two books in January and then I got into a reading slump and so I didn't really read more. I, I mean, I read five books, which is a lot. Of, it's a lot compared to what I used to be doing, which was like one, you know, uh, maybe like two. So five is a lot more than what I used to be doing, but I could have read more had I not been in a slump. But I did end up writing an absolute ton. I wrote, I'm sorry, I almost said read. I wrote 15,000 words in one week. And then I, like, I wrote a lot in January, especially when I was in my reading slump. I was writing a lot and I had a lot of fun writing. So like, I'm not, Sorry about not reading more than five books in January, but like I could have read five I could have read more than five books in January and that's what kicks me because like I have a lot of books I need to read uh, But oh well, so without further ado, let's get into the five books I read in January I read two on my own and the last three are buddy reads with my granny. So let's get into them Alright, so the first book I read in the month of January, I read most of it in December. I could have read this in December. Like, I wanted to finish it in December and count it to, and like, get like 60 books in 2020. Um, but I didn't have the time. So, I mean, even though it bugs my granny, like, a lot to count it for 2021, I'm going to. Uh, so the first book I read in 2021 was Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince by J.K. Rowling. I gave this four out of five stars. I did really enjoy it, but I didn't really like the pensive parts. I found those to be really boring, and I found myself skipping a lot of them. But I did really enjoy the book. I enjoyed seeing, uh, Harry and Ginny actually have like a progressive relationship where it doesn't just spring out of the blue like okay hi um but I'm not gonna go into more like I have a whole reading vlog on the entire Harry Potter series if you would like to see more of my opinions on this book or any of the other books in the series I'll leave a link down below and at the end of the video and there are timestamps at the in the description of the video of the Harry Potter reading vlog that you can just skip to if you want to see my thoughts on a specific book but yeah there's the first book, four out of five star. I didn't have a horrible reading month in January, but I didn't get any five stars, which we're not surprised. It takes a lot to get a five out of me. Uh, moving on to the second book I finished was Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows um, by the same author. And I gave this a three out of five. I, yeah, no, I was disappointed. I, like, I didn't mind the way it ended, and I did, like, enjoy the overall experience of reading Harry Potter for the first time, but, like, this book was boring. It was boring, and I was so bored. I feel like I read it rather quickly, but, I mean, I don't actually remember, like, when I finished. I think I finished it the 7th, so I do think, I th like, I read it rather quickly for being a bored person while reading. Uh, but I found it very boring. I liked the end. I liked the battle of in the book a lot more than I liked the battle when it comes to the movie. Um, though these movies are like, like these movie adaptions, some of my least favorites. Anyway, uh, I did enjoy the, I, I enjoyed the series. I was disappointed with this book. I was very bored. Uh, three out of five stars though. So let's continue on. I don't really have much to say when it comes to the Harry Potter books because I literally have an entire 45 minute long video where I talk about them in depth. So there you go. Uh, let's talk about the third book I read, which is the first book my granny and I finished for the year, and that was City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty. I give this a 4 to 5, and my granny gave it a 3.5. I enjoyed this. I did. I really enjoyed this, and my granny also enjoyed this. But we were very, very confused when it came to the beginning, and some of the stuff, even after finishing it, I'm still very confused about. Like, for example, what's the difference between a, a djinn and a deva? Like, is djinns just what humans call devas? And then 
devas get offended to be called jinns, but then why are some of them okay being called jinns? And if so, then why do the devas refer to some as jinns? Like, some of the stuff, like, it just, like, confused, okay? I'm confused. And then the whole ending I was really confused on. I did end up, I do like the characters of this book. I enjoy Nahari and Dara, and I also like Ollie. Um, it took me a long time to like Ollie, and uh, eventually, by the end of it, I enjoyed reading from Ollie more than I enjoyed reading from Nahari. Uh, but I did enjoy the book. I liked the characters. I get why a lot of people like this, and they say that the series only gets better as you continue on through it. But I don't know if I'm going to continue, like, do I want to read the sequel? Do I want to buy the sequel and then read the sequel? Truthfully, no, the only reason I would do it is for Dara, okay? Like, that's it. Like, I'm just saying. That'd be the only reason why. And he's honestly, like, he's not enough. Sorry, Dara, but you're not enough for me to continue the series. Uh, so, yeah. But I give us four. I'm going to give you 3.5. We enjoyed it. We're trying to find, like, a good series, and we're really struggling. So if you have any suggestions, comment them down below. The next book I ended up finishing was Arusha and the End of Time by Roshani Joshni. I'm so sorry. Uh, I gave this a three star and my granny did as well. It was okay. I had to sit down and force myself to read this book. I skipped multiple, multiple paragraphs. This book was funny though. I will definitely give it that. I found this book I'll like to be really funny. There are some really, really good jokes like the egg in the grocery store. Like, like the, oh my god, I, I can't do it justice, but it was, I'm like, I can't do it justice, but would you like your eggs in a bag and then put, and the punchline is, no, they're already in shells. Like, oh my god, like there was just some moments in this book that I just like burst out laughing, and then what aisle of Home Depot do we go to for that? Oh my god, okay, like there are some moments in this book that I was laughing so hard at and I just it was like great humor and I really didn't mind uh Aru and like the other character Minnie I didn't really mind them um I know Jen doesn't really like Aru's personality but I really didn't mind it I just didn't like the story I was bored uh and that's sad like a lot happens in this book like it's not a boring book but I just found it boring and I guess it's like it didn't do much for me this is one of the books that ever since I started booktube I have been wanting to read so I'm very glad to have got to it I just wish I had liked it more and I uh didn't so that's sad but three out of five stars just a meh a lot of the books I read are just three stars uh so that's sad but what can you do you know, when you read a lot of three stars, you when, when you finally get to like a four, and especially when you get to a five, you're like, okay, this is where it's at. The next book is not one of those. It's another three star. Uh, but that is The Similars by Rebecca Hanover. This is a sci-fi book. I know. What the heck? Uh, and this, oh my god, I didn't tell you guys what any of these books are about. I thought I was missing something. Well, that's nothing new. Okay, we're not going to start now. Uh, yeah, we're going to start now. I apologize. But this is like a sci-fi book that involves clones. And the reason I picked this up, I saw it at a airport in Florida. Well, the airport in Orlando, Florida. Yeah. Uh, and I really liked the cover. And I still really like the way the cover feels. I, it, it just feels like a nice book. It's very, very beautiful when it comes to touch. Uh, but this is a sci-fi book about clones and cloning. Like, yeah, don't know who I am. But my granny, I thought, might enjoy this a little bit more than I did, which she did. I gave this book a 3 and my granny gave it a 4.5, so she really, really enjoyed this book. Uh, because it's not a fantasy, and I mostly have fantasy on my shelf, so therefore my granny and I mostly read fantasy books. But my granny really, really enjoyed this, and I... I didn't hate it, like, it wasn't bad, but kind of like how I did with Aru Shaw, I was skipping a lot of paragraphs when I was really bored. Um, I didn't really like any of the characters. I didn't think Emma or Levi or Maude or Theodora or 
like Madison, there's a character named Madison. Like, I didn't think any of them were bad characters. I personally, like, I don't like the way Madison was going about it, but I did think she have a she had a point. These clones are very, very dangerous, uh, especially with like they all have like spoilers. But like, I did think Madison had a point. I just didn't think she was going about it the right way. So like, I didn't really hate or dislike any of these characters, but I also like didn't connect with any of them. Um, and the plot I thought was entertaining enough, but like it was just that. Uh, and yeah, my granny really enjoyed it. She's going to be reading the sequel. I do not think I will be reading the sequel. So another book series that we're just cutting ourselves off. Well, I'm cutting myself off of. By the way, Truly Devious, I talked about it in December's uh, wrap up. My granny read the, all the books that are out. She loves that series and she hates that she has to wait for the fourth book. Uh, sorry, granny, I did not know uh, we were gonna get into that mess, but I'm glad you liked it. And she's going to be reading the sequel to this and I hope she enjoys the sequel. The ending, like the ending was like, oh, Okay, but it wasn't just like a, oh, okay, you know, like it didn't like grab you. I don't know if I'm making sense. I, I, I feel like I sucked when I described my feelings to this book. I apologize. My, my wrap-ups are a mess, uh, but there we go. That's it. That's the video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry if it was a mess. I have a lot of energy, and when I have a lot of energy, videos are a mess because I can't even speak. Like, energy. Speak, Madison. Speak. Anyway, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe down below because I post videos on this channel every single Monday. And so, I'll see you guys all this Monday for another video. Uh, tell me what your favorite book you read in January was. Uh, I don't, I mean, uh, the sixth Harry Potter. That's my favorite. I'm sorry, but it was. Okay. Anyway, uh, bye everyone. I love you all so much. And do not forget, I am still a freaking bulldozer. Bye everyone.